Hi guys, it's Ben here. It's the first European away of the season today, Napoli. Uh, it's currently 5.30 in the morning here at London Stansted Airport. I'm in the Radisson Blue Hotel. Uh, flight is in a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, most fans seem to be out there already. Mixed reviews on the place. Most seem to think it's a bit of a shit hole. Um, obviously, I've never been there myself, so looking forward to being the judge of that. We're going to get there at 11.20 Italian time. Uh, kick off at 9pm, so hopefully a few hours to wander about, see what the city's all like. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Up the Reds. We're here in Naples, um, it's a lovely sunny day, we're in, where are we? Capo Diamante? Yeah. And yeah, in a hotel. One tip for anyone coming to Naples, don't get in a taxi that's not a regulated one by some kind of app because they'll rip you off, especially if you're a foreign football fan coming over. A 10 minute journey costs us 50 euros, but um, look, they're treating us nicely in the hotel. Drinks are flowing, snacks are coming out free of charge, so, you know, it's all, all pleasant so far, hopefully, you know, we don't encounter any issues today. Seen a few of our mates already, everyone seems to have a good time. And yeah, we've got about eight hours until the game. And we're, it's just great to be back on the road again. Goodness. Tell you what, don't mind the stools. Don't mind the stools. <laughs> it's an issue reminds me of uh, Huddersfield Hotel. Okay, so we're at the stadium now, um, right behind me, probably see. Yeah, Napoli fans, not the most polite people. Again, just got a bit of trouble again. Um, me and Ollie went for a, for a piss and got pounced on by a group of Napoli lads, um, asked us how many people we were with, told them, they followed us. Um, luckily, we were with some more people, one of which spoke Italian and told them to fuck off, basically. Apparently, if, if you're confident, if you tell them to fuck off, they'll fuck off. But yeah, not a pleasant place to come. We were warned, we're not being dickheads, we're not wearing colours, but yeah, this is not the most safe away day for European fans. Um, but anyway, we're here and let's fucking beat these.
Just go back to the hotel, it's almost 1am, obviously we got kept behind in the ground for over an hour. Um, dreadful game wasn't it, absolutely appalling performance, one of the worst I've seen on the Jurgen Klopp and it wasn't a particularly nice atmosphere or uh, environment around the ground either um, as we were warned beforehand. But yeah obviously as I said before the game, a bit of trouble there nearly, um, but obviously got away unscathed. Uh, but yeah, I mean the performance was rancid, not a shot on target. Almost to a man, we were dreadful. I thought, you know, apart from maybe the centre backs and the goalkeeper going forward, we were terrible. Midfield was pretty anonymous, and yeah, it was just a miserable all round day, to be honest. And obviously, kept behind. Not the friendliest of welcomes, uh, and not a memorable, memorable European away. But um, you know, they're not all going to be. They're not all going to be five nils in Porto. They're not all going to be uh, Rome. They're not all going to be City away. They, you know, we're going to get some some dodgy ones and that's what we had tonight so yeah not in the best of moods um but we're back home well back in the hotel safe and sound and no night out tonight um it's uh, an early morning flight so back to england tomorrow afternoon um yeah i'll talk about the game tomorrow good night <laughs> Be legends. Be legends. So yeah, Naples Airport now. Um, home time is in well, slightly over an hour and a half. Um, yeah, won't be rushing back to Naples, that's for sure. Um, feel like everyone's out to rip you off. Don't find people too trustworthy. It's just not my kind of place. But um, yeah, going home soon. Back to the UK. And yeah, next away is Belgrade next month so we'll look forward to that one next European away anyway um, next game is Man City at home on Sunday so got to get the red act together before then Back in Stratford, uh, safe and sound. It's lovely to be back at 4 p.m. on a on a Thursday afternoon from a European away day. So used to coming back at like midnight. Um, yeah, this, this is great. No hangover. Not particularly tired. As it wasn't that late a flight or earlier flight. Um, yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. It hasn't been the best away day of all time because of the result and the performance and everything that surrounded it. But happy to be back. Um, and yeah, we look ahead to City now. So. Couple of minutes then on the game itself. Um, I'm now back in my bedroom. If you're wondering, um, back in East London. Um, yeah, it is obviously the worst performance of the season. Worse than the defeat to Chelsea at home. Um, lots of negativity around, which I understand. Um, but maybe jump into too many conclusions. It's no secret that we haven't been brilliant this season um, in all departments, even though we're winning games left, right, and centre. Um, but I think there's been a bit of exaggeration. Uh, in terms of the team selection, I would have gone weaker. Um, I said beforehand, I would have gone with Matip. I would have rested Van Dijk. I probably would have gone for um, Sturridge um, or Shakiri or both, you know. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one or two changes um, more than what we did come out with. But, you know, hindsight is, is what it is. Um, but, you know, even, even with the changes, the performance of... of those that you'd expect to be great was not great. And the front three remain out of form. Um, you know, there's a lot to be said for trying to play them into form, but it's taken a while. It's taken far too long. Um, and with Man City coming at the weekend, they're going to have to be um, at their best. You know, we have to take every single chance, just like we did against them last season in both the league and the Champions League um, at Anfield. So that is going to be something similar. Um, but, you know, that was really flat. I thought both fullbacks were poor. I thought the midfield was poor. Um, James Milner's kind of had a couple of bad games on the trot. Um, Vinaldum had a good first half, struggled in the second. I thought Henderson likewise. And yeah, the front three, Salah was miles off. He cannot c keep control of the ball at the moment. Firmino, I thought was good at Chelsea, struggled here. I'm not sure if the weight of the pitch was a factor. You know, there's many, many things you can you can look at. But I want it, I want it to just be one of those nights. You know, one of those nights where it didn't happen. 
Um, we couldn't grind out a result. 0-0 would have been a good result there. 0-0, dog of a game, would have been a decent result out there against Napoli away. Um, turns out we can see the late, very late winner. It happens. It happened um, you know, in our favour at the, the weekend against Chelsea. Um, we scored a few late goals this season. So, what can you do? What can you do? Um, yeah, I'm still positive. Um, City is a flipping big game. Um and yeah, I'd say that's must not lose. So obviously, you know, I'll, I'll preview that soon. I want us to win. I think we can win. We are slight favourites maybe, but um, God, that's a huge, huge game going into an international break. So yeah, let's hope for a, for a good bounce back performance there. I think we were kind of caught in two minds last night over whether to go for it or not, you know, especially on 60 minutes. And I was kind of hoping to bring Sturridge on or Shakiri to change it up from, from an attacking sense. It never came until very, very late with Sturridge. So Klopp was obviously quite happy with the point. And as as would I have been, even though it was a dreadful game. But we got robbed of it last minute. And maybe it served us right, you know. So we move on. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. Um, you know, I'll be, I'll be at Man City, uh, Liverpool Man City at the weekend. So more coverage to come from that. Preview to come in the meantime. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, and I'll see you next time.